GTA 4 we're doing the Stevie's text car locations double-a gamer for life okay so I numbered all the vehicles but that's only really related to the way I received them Okay, so Brucey calls just saying that Stevie's going to text you, and the, the way the vehicles come at you might vary, but all the locations are the same. So whatever the name of the vehicle is, is where it would be, but you might not get them in the order that I get them in. Not saying that could happen, might say it may happen, might say it not, might, may not happen. I don't know what to tell you on that. Uh, when I was reading through it, they say that there's no real set way the vehicles come at you. But one thing is for sure, wherever, you know, whatever that name vehicle is, that's where you'll find them at. So that's the most important thing. Okay, all the name vehicles will be in the title of the video. So if there's any particular car that you need, you can just search for it and it'll pop up. So over the next... Uh, five or so videos uh, we're going to cover all the text vehicles and its locations and mostly that's the most important part where to find them if you're able to drive it back to the location without damaging it you'll get max payout uh, just pretty much like all the, the grand theft games if you don't damage the vehicle you'll get max payout uh, i'm not going to show you the drive back to the garage there's no need for that uh, if you see that it says uh, the condition of this vehicle, which means I dinged it up somewhere along the way. And, uh, you know, as you're coming along Algonquin at the top part, uh, if you can swing through the paint and spray, uh, by all means do so. I have done that before. But uh, if there's the paint and spray is not in the way of the Stevie's garage, then don't sweat it, man. You lose a, a little bit of money. But... Uh, I do my best to try to get there without damaging it, and you'll notice a lot of the vehicles will say perfect condition, which means I made it there without damaging the vehicle. Okay, so when we get to each vehicle, I kind of zoom in and out of what Stevie has to say about the vehicle, and then on the map, so you know exactly where the car is. Okay, it doesn't matter about the number. This is my second car, but the Banshee could be like any number of the vehicle that you you know you might be number 10 for you it doesn't matter but the only thing that's really important is its location see perfect condition max payout okay so this is where the the money really comes to Nico you get a lot of cash for these vehicles uh, I could really bitch slap Brucey like when you jack cars for him I think you only got like a thousand or five hundred you're like are you on the level you know uh, anyway, that's a, a story for another day, but uh, like I was saying, uh, pretty much the most important thing about uh, Stevie's cars is the locations. He gives you a general idea where they're at. If you know the maps really well, uh, you won't have any issue finding them, but sometimes they're a little on the vague side. But if you're watching the videos, you know exactly where to find the vehicle. So you shouldn't have any problem finding the vehicles and then uh, just like I said, it's up to you how uh, how careful you want to get to getting it there. Okay, uh, most of the time, I'd say over three quarters of the vehicles for Stevie, you will not get a WANA level. And the reason why I'm putting this under the collectibles uh, playlist and not like the side missions is because it's more of a collectible. Then a side mission, uh, you're not, you know, you, you are given to find this car, but you don't really get a quest marker up. You don't really get like a dotted line or, you know, a trail on your mini map to follow or anything like that. So it's kind of like a gray area whether or not they're side missions or collectibles. But nevertheless, the most important thing is, uh, you know, hooking you gamers up with the locations of the vehicles. That's the important thing. Yeah, I decided only to put uh, four vehicles in a video. 
Uh, this way I can put all the names in the title. So they're easy to search instead of making like one or two videos with 15 vehicles in it. And then you have to sit there and, you know, look through a long video just to find the vehicle that you're looking for. So that's kind of the way it went down with this one. All right, it takes care of our first vehicles. Uh, that one put me up over my half a million mark, so I get my achievement. If you're doing the side stuff in the game, getting that kind of money should not be a problem. Although the earlier stuff doesn't seem to really net you any money. Uh, the one that's a real joke is the taxi cabs for Rome, and that's just... <laughs> I did like two, and I'd be like, hey, this is costing me more money than I'm making.